Hey, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. And today I am going to show you a few things. Um, I have been really, really busy making lots of jewelry. And while I'm doing it, I find that people are really attracted to my guitar string bracelets. Uh, in about a little over a month, I'm going to be doing a local um, arts and craft. It's called Original Arts and Craft Fair. And so all of the vendors there have to have made their creations. They can't purchase them and sell them. And so I've been making a lot of earrings and bracelets. Now, while I'm doing this, I'll wear some of them to various places that I go to. And they um, inquire about them and they have actually bought some. And uh, I even had a couple of orders. This one goes to one of my friends who actually bought a guitar string bracelet and wanted a companion piece for it. And so this is going to her tomorrow. And then I have another order I've got to get done. But, you know, as I'm um, seeing how popular these are, I want to put them on my Etsy shop eventually. But I need to know what size wrist you have. And so I'm going to show you how to measure for that. What you need is a tape measure, or you could use a string and then you would need a ruler, okay? And there's two ways you can do this. If you already have a bangle that you like, take that bangle and measure the inside of the bracelet. That would be the circumference all the way around, circle circumference. And that would give you the size that I would need to make your bracelet. If you do not have a bangle like I didn't have, then what you're going to do is measure your wrist. And you're going to need, or you're going to actually measure your hand because that's to go over your hand to get on your wrist. And what I do, you're going to make your hand as small as possible and then you're going to measure around the biggest part of it. And um, to be honest with you, it's easier if you have someone to help you. You can do it by yourself, but what I would do is do it by yourself and then see if you can get somebody to, to help you and um, hopefully they will be, as you know, one of those things the carpenter says, measure twice, cut once, kind of the same thing with this, measure twice, make once. <laughs> but um, anyway, I want to show you a couple of my creations, some of my personal ones and some that I will actually be having in the show. Um, I just made this one yesterday. Uh, I put turquoise and white colored glass beads. And I left the, they call this the end bead on this bracelet. That's what attaches the guitar string to the guitar. So there's that one. Um, I have another one. It's got pink and silver wire with pink and white and brown and clear glass beads. Here's a similar one that I used black beads and I used copper and silver. Um, some people like them plain so this one just has plain kind of a brassy colored wire around it. This is one of my favorites. This is my personal one. It measures about seven and a half inches around by the way so that's and it's a little snug, which I like it snug because I don't like them really big. I have a small wrist. But I like to wear this actually with one of my um, expandable bracelets. I'll show you what they look like on. See, they look pretty good together, especially with that watch. Um, let's see. The other day when I got my guitar strings... There were some blue ones in there, and I was really excited about these blue guitar strings. I am a Brigham Young University alumni, and therefore I'm a BYU fan. I love to watch their football games. And um, I decided I was going to make me a BYU football fan guitar string bracelet. And that's what I did. And I like to wear it along with an expandable bracelet that my sister-in-law gave me for Christmas last year. 
and it looks really nice together. And if you want, it's like this one here with the pearls and the crystals that I made. Sometimes I stack that right along and dress them up a little bit. So these are really great to stack and have fun with. Look at this one. This is one I wear with some of my black and red. Anyway, I hope you check me out on Tapping Flamingo Bling Etsy. These are not up there yet, but they will be. We've got Christmas coming up pretty soon. Um, I do have them posted on my Facebook page. So if you see something you like on, face, on my Tapping Flamingo Bling Facebook page, let me know and I can actually put it on to my Etsy shop. Check me out on Instagram. It's just Tapping Flamingo over there. But again, I have a ton of stuff. If you see something you like that's not sold, or even if it is sold, I can remake it. It's not going to be exactly the same because it is handcrafted and no two items are exactly the same. But anyway, I hope you check these things out. Hope you like what you get. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is the Tapping Flamingo signing up for now. Goodbye.